What is guys? My name is Max Lord Football. Welcome back again to another NWSL video. And today, before we begin, it'd be absolutely amazing if you could subscribe with notifications on as well as leave a like on this video. So that would be absolutely amazing for me and it helped me out so much. I know it's pretty annoying to ask at the beginning. But we are on our road to 1k subscribers. And yeah, this is my first upload in a couple of days. Sorry about that lately. I've been really busy with school. And yeah, but luckily we have a lot of content to go over right now. We got a bunch of FIFA 19 stuff coming out later in the week as well. Hopefully, it should be getting another IWRIF to you out soon as well and yeah today's video is going to be about the entire NWSL season wrapping to an end it is finally over after a long 24 game campaign for each of the nine teams and wow what a season it's been definitely one of the best seasons I've ever watched and let's go over a couple of the games that were actually gone down going down that I should say on this weekend so we have september 7th we have portland versus seattle easily one of the best games i've ever watched bruce jess fishlock scored a screamer from out the outside horan then scored a top bins cracking goal it's unbelievable tobin heath as well and horan again with another header this is just an absolutely amazing game if you haven't seen that already you should go check that out on nwsl's website or their youtube channel and new jersey or sky blue whatever you want to call them they finally got their first win of the entire season that would have been horrible if they didn't go the entire season without winning a game. If they went the entire season. Imagine going through an entire season of football and not winning one game. That would be horrible. But so happy for them. They actually got finally their first win. With a goal from who else but Carly Lloyd down there, as it says. And Utah Royals also got the win of Chicago Red Stars with the comeback. But Sam Kerr did clinch the golden boot. I'll be talking more about that as well. She scored 16 goals in this year's campaign. And although Utah came out on top of that match, 2-1, and North Carolina Courage wrapped up the regular 2018 season with a 5-0 thrashing over the Houston Dash. Just McDonald scoring a goal and getting two assists as well as Williams scoring. And yeah, just a strong end to the season for them. And yeah, let's take a look at the standings overall for the season. So starting from the bottom, we have Sky Blue, as I told you before. Everyone played 24 games, it's all the same. Negative 31 goal differential there. Not very good at all, and only 9 points out of 24 games. So, hopefully, they can solidify their team and get a bit of a higher position in next year's league. And, yeah, let me know if you're a Sky Blue fan, what you think of overall the season, what went wrong, what went well. And yeah, I'm really interested to hear your input on that. And... In 8th place, we have my favorite NWSL team, Washington Spirit. And yeah, I think it's just been an up and down season in so many different ways. I mean, we had so many transfers coming for the season. Hugh, Lavelle, and Sullivan couldn't really get many minutes together with each other. So I think that was the main reason why we didn't do so well. And yeah, going from a really top position a couple of years ago down to the second to last, definitely not good for any team. We finished out with a negative 23 goal differential, still two points above Sky Blue though. And we went to the seventh spot. We have Orlando Pride, 24 games played, of course, as I said before, a negative seven goal differential and 30 points for them. They are in seventh there, even though they do have a really strong attacking side, obviously with LaRue, Marta, and Alex Morgan. I do not know why they play so low i mean they definitely were in run for a playoff spot early on in the season but i think they sort of just fell apart so let me know which end of club you support down below as well in the comments and how well your season ended for your club houston dash right in the middle there for sixth place they had a negative four differential on goals and 32 points so three points behind utah who finished fifth and they only had negative one goal differential there and moving on to the four final spots for playoff contention, we have Chicago Red Stars finishing fourth. So obviously, a lot of that credit has to go to Sam Kerr. She's just so amazing for them. I mean, she's so amazing for any team she played. Put her on, like, U7, and it'd be unfair. She's just such an amazing player. And, yeah, let me know down below if you think Kerr has had the best season for a single striker out of any NWSL campaign for a year and yeah let me know if you think she's the best striker in the world definitely probably up with morgan and those two are probably the top spot right now hard air though although she does play more of a center attacking mid slash center forward role let me know down below who you think is the best as well seattle rain finishing third there getting 41 points and just one behind portland thorns actually they would have finished 
in the second spot if they had won the game versus the Thorns. And so, yeah, interesting to see how that played out. Again, as I said before, that was one of the best games I've ever watched in the MWSL. And, of course, the top two we have are Portland and North Carolina. The last year's replication, yes, not the last year's, last year's replication of the top two teams in the championship, actually. And there also could be a repeat again if Portland does beat Seattle, which they just did on September 7th, and North Carolina beats Chicago. We can have a rematch of last year's NWSL championship, and of course Portland came out on top with Haran goal last season. And yeah, interesting to see how it will go down for the playoffs this season, and North Carolina Courage finishing the season with 57 points and plus 36 goal difference. So that is absolutely insane. Plus 36, just how many goals are being scored there? And they only lost one game, I believe, to the Royals, and Brittany Radcliffe scored that in, like, the 94th minute, so, I mean, they could have gone unbeaten, just like Barca and La Liga, but, I mean, it's really hard to do that. And, yeah, that is basically it for the entire league. Everything went down for all the teams, so let me know down below, as I said before, what team you support. I really want to hear your thoughts on everything, and, yeah, moving on to the Golden Boot for Sam Kerr, just to get a bit more info on her. She captured the end of her golden boot again, and she got 16 goals and 4 assists in 19 games. That's unbelievable. And she's the first player in NWC history to finish as the leading scorer in two different seasons. So that is a nice little tidbit of information for you there. And you can watch her 16th goal of the season right there. And yeah, she won the golden boot in 2017 after scoring 17 goals for Sky Blue. And yeah, she, that was one goal off from her best record she has 33 goals over the last two seasons absolutely unbelievable and courage player lynn williams is also in the second spot for the golden boot in 14 goals and definitely could have gotten the golden boot if she scored another hat trick but as you know they're both such world-class players but williams being more of a pace pacey forward and yeah Kerr being more of a really crafty shooter in my opinion there and she didn't even make her end of the one debut until april 28th so she's missing the first five games of the season so that's crazy if she could score like a couple more goals in there she could have broke her own record that would have been amazing so she scored four goals four games sorry in four games she scored six goals so a four game scoring tree so that was amazing so definitely probably the best record in the world right now in my opinion but you never know if Morgan does well next season, I'm sure she can get the Golden Boot as well. I mean, anyone could. This league is so competitive in every aspect, and it could definitely go to anyone. Seven of Kerr's goals this season have been assisted by Yuki Nagasato, and that is actually amazing since she is her main supplier. And six came at home, ten came on the road, so really good at scoring away from home. Eleven goals with the right foot, five with the head. That's amazing. Really an aerial threat as well. 15 from inside the box. So only one goal was outside the box. That is a very interesting aspect there. So a lot of them coming from really key finishing within the box. And she scored against every single team in the league. And she's the first player to score a hat trick in the 2018 season versus Sky Blue. And here's every single one of her goals in the 2018 season. You could take a look at that as well. And yeah, let me give you some information on the NWSL playoffs and the semifinals. I don't know why it's glitching out here, but they will be broadcasted live on Lifetime and ESPN2. The tickets are on sale as well. And yeah, they announced this on Friday and they will broadcast the first semifinal game at Lifetime. That is on September 5th, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, so 12 p.m. Pacific Time, where I live. And for Providence Park in Portland, their home stadium versus Seattle Rain. So a rematch in the exact same spot of the September 7th match of yesterday's game. And Cary, North Carolina, Courage will play at home versus the Red Stars at Sunday, September 16th, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, so same time, but just a day after. And the NWSL Championship will be alive on Saturday, September 22nd at 1.30 p.m. Pacific Time or 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time in Portland. So they do have a chance to get in on that home playoff game twice in a row so they could do it for the semifinal and the final if Portland Thorns gets past the rain. And they will also be able to stream every playoff game via the Lifetime and ESPN app. So ESPN Watch app or Watch ESPN, whatever they call it nowadays. And yeah, you require authentication for that in your TV provider. 
And that's basically all the info we have on today's video and the entire season. What a season it's been. Let me know down below what you thought of the entire season. And yeah, it's been another great year. And I cannot wait to be back. We will be doing so much coverage of the 2019 season. I promise you all that. And you don't want to miss it. Any of it. And within a couple of months, I'll be hitting you up with more end episode content. So thanks so much for watching this video once again. Be sure to check out everything on the end screen. And I will see you all in the next one. is all against me I know that people gonna hate me I'm just gonna keep doing my own thing I'ma keep moving, moving, moving on